All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Captain AJ with NB Soul Adventures. We're going to do a little bit of work on the Real Freedom Junior. Can I, tell them something? I got Logan here with me. Go ahead, Logan, tell him something. I'm by the road playing. Are you playing? Yeah, by the road because I want to. And there's like little turn spots, and my like trailer like flips over. And my... you, you launching your boat? No, I'm not. What are you doing right there? Uh huh. I'm just like going to stop right here and work. Mmm, gotcha. Got my boat off. All right, be safe. <laughs> All right, well, we got the little uh, Freedom uh, Junior here. Our little hunting skiff, little fishing skiff. We finally got the jack plate that actually came in the day that we ordered. Uh, it's been about a month since we ordered it, but I guess there was some back order issues or whatever. But we got it. Got the uh, bolt kit that came with it, and I uh, flipped it right here so you can check it out. So I haven't opened it yet. I'm getting ready to open it up and uh, move stuff around. But this jack plate's going to go right here, and then the Suzuki will be mounted to the jack plate. So this will help us uh, get in some skinnier water and uh, be able to really plan out a little bit better too, a little bit more uh, performance. It's a nice to have, not a must have, but we're, we've kind of gone all out with this little skill. Uh, there's really no turning back now. We ordered it, so we're going to go ahead and put it on. So we're excited to have it. I'm still waiting on uh, one plug for my uh, transducer, and that should bring me up to that should complete everything that we need to really get done i'm sure there'll be little things that we need to add to it or want to add to it as we um as we keep fishing it and hunting it but right now we are getting really really close to getting to where we want it to be at so i'm going to go ahead and unbox this and then uh go ahead and get this motor off and get ready to start to install this thing i've never installed one of these before so i've got to uh really read the instructions and uh make sure i do it right looks pretty simple and pretty straightforward but Either way, we want it done right. All right, here we go. Daddy, hey, I want to Can you get your boat out of here? Take your boat out of the way. So this is the uh, bolt kit that came with it, the spacer kit. Uh -huh, four bolts. Uh, go through the trash one. Trash. Thank you. Green or blue? Uh, put it in the blue. It's recycling. All right, I'm gonna open this thing up. Are we opening it? I'm gonna open it. Yeah, we are gonna open it. But we'll what? Well, nice. Back up. Sharp. Uh -huh. All right. Go through this one. Blue box. Oh, I'm keeping. No, throw those in the blue box for me, please. Look, let me go apart. Like, I'm gonna sweat. Very pretty, shiny. Maybe yep, the blue one. This is an on-the-fly jack plate. Why do you got a jack plate? We can jack our motor up. Go in some skinny water. Oops. We gotta get all the stuff out. Then we gotta read the directions so we know how to put this thing together. Looks pretty simple. Let's read the directions and then we'll figure it out. Installation. Installation. That out? Uh, yeah, they got a YouTube channel, so we're gonna we're gonna pull this up on YouTube and watch it, and uh, be a lot easier reading all these words. You can't read anyway. <laughs> G O G eight nine. What does that spell? How you spell Logan? L O G A N. Good job. Logan. Good job. They showed me how to write my name. They did? Who showed you how to write your name? I did just, we got letters. Oh, you got letters? 
Now, you, me. now you know how to write your name on your hunting license, official license, right? Hey, that's all that matters. That's all you need. <laughs> L-O-G-A-N. I'm going to be talking about and showing you how to install the manual jack plate. Um, over here is our small manual jack plate. You ready? Yeah. Can I tell them something? All right, we watched the video. We've got a pretty good idea. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but that video was very, very helpful. And I still went to the instructions and read some uh, notes on the instructions as well. So we're getting ready to uh, go ahead and mount this on and go through the process. Can I tell them something? What would you like to tell them? Um, so I got this logger and I've been candy, four pieces of candy corn in it and I ate it and it was so good. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> enjoy. All right, here we go, guys. So these are, these bolts are a little bit longer down here because it's not as thick. It's thicker up here on the top, an actual two inches, like it's supposed to be for a, a transom. But this one needs a little bit longer, or a little bit of, needs a little bit of spacer right here. So what we've done, we took the Kuza board and we created a spacer so we can tighten it down. Blow that off with the blower. Oh, I feel like my mouth works. <laughs> no, you use a blower right here. Is it it's much stronger? All right, you want to put that spacer on? Put it on right there. Are you here? Yep. On the bottom? Mm-hmm. Cool. Are we done? Almost. Well, we got to tighten it down. We still have to. We still have here. Watch your big head. Watch your big old head. We still got to come in and fill it and then tighten it all down, but I had to create a spacer. Wait, give me a second, all right? Had to create a spacer to tighten it up because there was a little, probably about a half inch. This is a one inch spacer, but I got plenty of uh, thread. I'll put the washer on the outside and then continue with the locking nut and nut. Logan, Logan, stop. That looks pretty good. Got it centered up pretty good. Put it down now. But it looks pretty good. Slides in there really nice. I did it really nice, guys. Ooh, dang good. <laughs> Watch your mouth. Ooh, dang good, baby. Yeah, we roll. Yeah, we roll. All right, now we just got to come back in and put some 5200 and, and, uh, on both sides and uh, tighten it up.
All right, that turned out pretty good. Slide this in here. Oop, goes this way. Just make sure it slides in there, and then we'll put the uh, slide in there nice and easy. Nice and easy. Cool. Got my spacers. These uh little kuza board spacers uh like squished up pretty good i'll keep my eye on them but they should be pretty good um maybe a plastic or a, like a um that starboard uh, little uh spacer might be a little bit better but i think that'll, that'll serve me well this is only a nine nine this thing ain't going nowhere this is a lot stronger than what was just holding on with those two bolts and i'm also going to bolt it in to the plate and I'll probably come in, once I get it mounted and everything, I'll probably come in and grind this out, a little sand it down, and then fare this in and then repaint it real quick and just, it'll look a lot better. Looking pretty good. Good to see you, man. How you doing? I know you're busy. Love the chat, but... Yeah, no worries. I'm just, uh, tightening some stuff up here. I saw you doing some, uh, fiberglass work on that, so, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we got the, um, got the troll motor installed and everything, and it went really well, so. There you go. I'm putting a jack plate on the back of it right now. Yeah, I'll so. match your paint job, too. Appreciate it. I thank you. Hey, be nice, Logan. He, get, he gets a little rough. All right, Logan, come on back. Jack, shut up. Shut up, Jack. Sweet. <laughs> I like it. I'm just going to start with the top hole right here. I can bring it up. There's two more holes. I could actually bring it up a little bit more. Hi, but I think I'm that'll probably be good. I don't know. Let's see how high this goes. That seems pretty high. I don't think I need to raise it any higher than that. The real test will be putting the motor on it and kind of adjusting it. I probably will do. I'll probably just hang it right there and see what it looks like Whoa. before I tighten it all down. Tighten all down? Hey, it's working pretty good, guys. <laughs> it is working pretty good, huh? Hey, let's put the motor on and get it down and up. What'd see you how say? it works. Hold on, we will in a minute. Yeah, because I got to check out there. Did you just find you a new toy? You're going to be out here jacking the motor up. And jacking the trailer up, too. Well, don't jack the trailer up. It's dangerous. Let's go. All right, hold on. <laughs> yep. All right, watch your fingers. Can I test it out? Mm -hmm. i got to put the spaces on right there. Oh, no. Leave it all. Don't touch it. Hey, please watch your fingers, buddy. Yeah, I feel like it actually needs to come up some more. Oh, I'll stop, buddy. Yeah, Why? It's got to come up, see? It's got to come up more. Why? Mm-hmm. 
see you. Watch, I'll show you. Stop. How? What? So we gotta, we gotta bring this bolt down to the third one. Right now it's hitting the latch. Bring this bolt down two slots so it's not hitting the latch. Okay? Oh, it's not uh -huh. to there. Please stop, buddy. Just listen to me. Wait. I, I just found my new toy. Oh, yeah. Well, this ain't your new toy yet. Let me, let me fix it first, and then we'll... Can I get a toy? Once I get done playing with it, you can play with it. Let's go. Why are you playing with... Why are you working on my new toy? I don't want you to. Down. All right, that'll work better. That way, my my latch won't be in the way. I'll center it up, get the spacers in there, and uh, bring the whole thing, tighten it up. I'm trying to get my dad to let me to play with my new toy. Well, <laughs> what do you think I'm trying to do? I'm trying to we're get it ready my... to go. Oh, All right, we're we going got, in we the got pond? our spacers. We got to tighten up. We're, let's go in the pond. No, we're not gonna go in the pond yet. We're not gonna use this yet until we bolt it down. I don't trust it all the way, 100%, because it doesn't dig in like it did to the glass right there. So I, it probably wouldn't go nowhere, but we're gonna bolt it down before we go. So what we have to do, I actually need to get a new drill bit because I need a really good drill bit before we drill into this aluminum. And then, uh, and then two at least. Yeah, people. my dad is not gonna let me go in the pond all not, by myself. Not today. You get bigger, you can go by yourself. Oh, uh, dad, I told you to not freak me out. Boy, I'm gonna freak you out. Yeah, you're gonna freak me out. My dad just freaked on me out. Freaking you out? How to do that? You just. Pretty sweet, huh? I want to play with my new toy. Can I play? Right. Why are we giving it away from you? Stop, please stop. Dad. What? I want to play with my new toy so bad. Yeah. So we can we can play with my new toy now, right? Ah, that is not. She is caring. <laughs> you gotta wait your turn. She is caring, Dad. My new toy. My new toy. All right, what do you think? All right, you gotta be you gotta be gentle with it though, okay? So that raises up the motor, allows you to go in a little bit shallower water. You can basically trim it up. And if you need a little bit more power, you can go down a little bit too and give it a little more up. Pretty nice, huh? My well, new toy. Now it's going to be better when you be back in the pond. It will. I think it'll serve us well. But, Dad, yeah. are we going to keep it away from the water? What do you mean? This, when we're back in then? Yeah, well, we'll actually put it up. Like, we, we tilt it up so it doesn't hit the ground or anything. But, Dad, this one, like... Dad, get it, get it. There they go. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to come back here, buddy. Why? But nice try, though. I like it. Why are they not? Good, good job. All right, that's, hey, that's a good sign. Just, Logan, that's enough. Why are you not coming back? That's a good sign, just in time for duck season. Uh, we just got the boat ready to go. And so uh, kind of the next big thing that we got to do. I up and grab it, and then I came over here, and I like. <laughs> not, I know, I saw you. It was good thinking. He was really quick with that. He ran and got that call and started calling those birds pretty quick. Uh, but it was pretty cool. Um, we'll definitely try to get on those birds in the ICW here soon. Well, it's on there. I don't know how long it actually took us. Uh, couldn't, couldn't be very long. Maybe maybe an hour, maybe. Um, which wasn't too bad at all. And having a four-year-old as a sidekick, you know, that's a pretty good timing, I think. Now that I've got all this boat stuff done, pretty much we're just going to get the uh, duck blind set up next and then uh, kind of be ready for the season. It's still ge geese season here, so we're going to try to get out on some of those birds that are local birds. And um, Lord willing, we can find some, intercept them on the ICW. 
but uh, either way, we'll definitely get out and do some fishing if the bird hunting is uh, slow because it's still pretty hot here right now in uh, top cell. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it, and uh, we hope you all have a blessed day. Take care.